Spud Pilgrim vs. the World. Okay, that is this my one I've right. seen. This From one I've seen. Flowers. I I did love I did love this movie, but I was like ninety four. <laughs> that's that's kind of high on on the on the list. <laughs> I mean, the movie's cool. The movie's funny. Um, you know, Scott Pilgrim having to defeat seven deadly exes in order to ask this girl Ramona out on a date. Um, they apparently go out on a date, and then she decides, no, I'm not putting out tonight, so then they just decide to, like, sleep to like sleep in the bed, and then he basically just has to fight, uh, uh, yeah, he has to fight uh, skateboarding Chris Evans, he has to fight uh, some crazy woman, I forgot her name now. Uh, um, her real name is, it's basically the lady who voiced uh, Kitara in Avatar The Lost Airbender, I forgot her name now. Oh, oh, it's her. May Whitman. No really? Yeah. May Whitman. Oh yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. She played. She played one of the exes, right? And even Brie Larson is in it. Yeah, she was Scott's ex girlfriend. And I still play that music to this day. Hey, yeah, I don't know. Like, friend. should this be in the greatest movies of all time? I like. I think it's. I. Th- I thought it was a really good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, you know, I did enjoy the villain, even though he's like typical, <laughs> yeah, insult. Like, the, like I just remember when he was talking about the gum because I used to have this thing about gum, swallowing gum. It used to be like a, a mm-hmm. weird phobia for me. Yeah, you made so, me swallow my own gum. Yes. Yeah. And like, it'll be in my digestive tract for seven hours or whatever he said in that movie. Yeah. Uh, the fight scenes were really cool. Um, yes. Uh, like obviously. Um, it was hilarious to see Chris Evans. Well, I forget. I forget what his character's name was, but it was hilarious to see the stunt doubles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is such a cool superpower. Like, oh my god, it's yeah, yes. yeah. That was hilarious. Like when you beat him up, you beat up all of his stunt doubles. That was funny. <laughs> um. Yeah. And don't forget, Superman was in this. <laughs> yeah, Brendan oh. Routh. Oh right, 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 right. He was actually yeah. cool with blonde hair and all. Ah, oh, dog. What have happened to that poor guy? Uh, yes. well, he went to TV. He did like DC's Legends of Tomorrow. He was mm-hmm. also in a film with Kerry Ann Moss and Samuel L. Jackson. I think it was called it... Un- Not Unbreakable. I think it was. Yeah, Not Unbreakable. No, no. I think it was un- something Unbroken or something like that. Uh, where oh. the way they were trying to get like this terrorist, this guy who like planted bo- bombs uh, in different spots and. Samuel L. Jackson was like this torture guy who was one who was torturing the guy because they got the guy early on. Who was um, he in that? Uh, unspeakable. Is the word you're looking for is unspeakable? Is, is, is it unthinkable? No, my kid might be unthinkable. Yes, not unspeakable. Yeah. Unthinkable. I, it's going through the whole thesaurus, but yeah, I, I'm. It's unthinkable. I, yeah. I've, I think He's I know the movie you're talking he about. He was in there. He was it's like an investigator. He was like one of the lazy investigators that Kerry and Moss used to push to like help find information about something. He was the... Just a small character then. The fact that I literally forgot he was in that movie is crazy. Yep. But sorry, sorry, uh, Bob. He was, he was still saying? Yeah, you were still going, bro. Yeah, Um. Uh, like, yeah. I also like the chemistry between the two main leads. Um, was this, you know, um, why am I forgetting his name now? Michael Sarah. Who, Michael Sarah. There we go. Yeah, his name is even on screen. Michael Sarah was like th- this role kind of fit Michael Sarah. Well, the way Michael Sarah was acting around this time, because mm. like they put him in other things and he'd feel off. Like I remember he was in the Musketeers or something, and I was just like, this is. Not... Why would he be there? <laughs> I think he was in the Musketeers or something like that. They did like a Musketeer remake and he was there or something. Or maybe I'm Mandela affecting myself. But there was some movie I watched him in. And I was just like, and I was just like, nah, this is not. And then I watched this and I was like, oh, okay, this kind of fits. Mm. And everything. Very anime. Like, I think this would like, if they ever do live action anime, this is kind of like the format they're supposed to follow. Mm. Because this does the whole speed lines and hyper fighting and 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 all of that Split stuff. screens and all of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It did it did all of that stuff pretty well. The cartoon that came out on Netflix apparently is no good, so I'm mm. disappointed by that. Heard that as well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Ninety four on the greatest one hundred movies. I feel like there's movies I've enjoyed more than Scott Pilgrim. Like I mm. I would put Incredibles 
over Scott Pilgrim. So I don't know if I would include it. Agreed. On this list. Do you have a favorite moment? Favorite moment? It would have to be. Ah, uh, okay. Favorite moment. It would have to be the the Chris Evans character when he decides to kill himself by like grinding <laughs> down the hill in order to prove a point to Michael Sarah's character because Michael Sarah was losing and then um, I forget Scott was losing because it's Scott yeah. Pilgrim. Scott was wasn't losing he like then, Lucas Lee? Wasn't it his name? His name Lucas yeah, Lee. Yeah, Lucas or Lee or something. Yeah. And basically, he was like, "I challenge you to do something crazy," and then he does that, and then basically that's how Scott won the fight is by challenging him to do something so stupid and ridiculous ridiculous and appeal to that dude's ego <laughs> yeah because hand to hand he was not winning at all though they were no, i mean he was fighting it, it was <laughs> like fighting naruto chief like you jump in like you ain't jump by 50 people <laughs> it was great yeah all right but um, i don't know if i would put it on the on the greatest 100 list and i don't know if i would put it at 94 if it would be on the list maybe to be 100 and 203 mm, mm. all right uh rob it caught you by surprise. Okay, first of all, I think it's definitely um, Edgar Wright's top three. I think it's... Uh, Whoa, Bart Fuss. wait. Have you forgotten the Cornetto trilogy? Yeah, I enjoyed Baby it. Baby Driver? And I enjoyed Baby Driver, but I think this is better. Uh, than Baby, ba- no, ba- no, Scott Pilgrim waxes Baby Driver, because I've seen Baby Driver, and I was yeah. just like, this is fine, but like, <laughs> it's kind of all, like, it's kind of weird. Like, it's kind of... And also, like, um, what's this? The guys kind of got like a superpower thing going on with the driving, not Fast and Furious or whatever. Mm. It's not yeah. not that ridiculous at all. But it yeah. is just like everybody really depends on this guy's driving. And I'm like, none of you have licenses. <laughs> like, he's the only. <laughs> well, the point is to get away. To be fair, but I no I know, but say. I'm just like, like he's the only guy that you got as a getaway guy. If he gets caught, you all in trouble, most. <laughs> Yeah. But no, Pilgrim is Pilgrim is Pilgrim was way more fun. Uh, Pilgrim had a lot more variety, and Baby Driver. Once you get like halfway through the movie, you kind of know what it's about. Whereas with Scott Pilgrim, even though we know the premise, they take it to such ridiculous extremes that you can enjoy it the entire way. Yeah, fair enough. But anyway, the point is in my 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 top three of him. It's Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Then it's Scott Hot Pilgrim. Fuzz was good. Yeah, it was fantastic. And then Shaun of the Dead. In fact, Shaun of the Dead first. Then Hot I Fuzz. agree with you. Shaun of the Dead uh, has to be number seen, one. I haven't seen Shaun of the Dead yet. Oh, bro. Oh, my we, God. Once you, if we review Shaun of the Dead, you have to jump on. Yeah, you, you, you're cheating <laughs> it's yourself, bro. one of the bro. best. For me, it's Edgar Wright's best film, bro. Okay, it's, all right. Yeah, it, it hits Let zombies. Let me know when we're doing that. Yeah, it hits zombies the right way. It, it, it gave zombie movies a punch in the gut. It was fantastic. But, yeah, I don't... <sighs> Thing is a hundred movies that are better than it. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, okay. Um, first of all, my favorite scene is um the male scene. A because of how many takes it took to get it right. But um, I just thought that oh, was funny. Yeah, when he was throwing the the male the in, the, over his in, shoulder, in the yeah. bin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that I love the editing style. I love. Oh God, Edgar Wright is such a cool, such a cool director. Because that shit is harder than it looks. By the way, mm. that whole fast editing. Way harder than it looks, but um, so that's my favorite of that whole thing. Um, but I'm going to say it's fine where it is. Actually, no, it deserves to be lower, maybe a hundred, but I'll keep it on the list for now until I change my mind. You, all right, honestly, I wouldn't put it on this list for me. Scott Pilgrim <laughs> versus the world is one of my favorite films of all time, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's it's those films that I like watching, but I wouldn't say it's one of it's one of the best movies I've ever seen. So I enjoy watching it. Oh, it's a it's a comfort it's a comfort film type. Yeah, it's type like a deal. guilty pleasure type thing because well, first it's of not all, bad. I feel like guilty okay, pleasures yeah, for maybe, me is like guilty pleasures for me is like when you know the movie is bad, but, bad you but you still enjoy it. it. Okay, you're right. It's not and that. Yeah, that's not a guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah it's not, it's not a guilty pleasure. I just enjoy watching it, but I think it's because that's I know it's a, purpose. I know it's silly. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that's why I'm correcting myself. Like, that Mortal is, Kombat guilty... 1, Mortal Kombat 1 for me is a guilty pleasure. Yeah, that's right. a guilty Loki, pleasure. Loki, okay, even Annihilation, sense. because Annihilation is just so bad, it's good. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's yeah. so bad, no. it's fantastic. Um, Too bad you will die. <laughs> I, retract, I retract my words. It's, it's not a guilty pleasure. 
it's just a movie I enjoy watching, but I wouldn't consider it to be one of the best movies ever no, made. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. That's how I kind of feel about um, what's a good example. So a lot of MCU movies, I kind of feel that way about it. Like yes. I really enjoy this movie, but like if you wanted me to critically break it down, like a perfect example is Homecoming. I think yeah. Homecoming is a pretty cool movie. But like, if you were like, "Yo, what's your top ten MCU movies?" It's like, eh, may maybe it'll show up, maybe. Right. Yeah. So for me, Ramona Flowers is the main reason I keep coming back to this movie. Oh, she was fine. <laughs> no, the movie. best. Ooh. She was Mary fine. Elizabeth Winstead is one of the most beautiful women I've ever Yarr. seen, especially as Ramona, because they try to make sure that those eyes are like anime type eyes, bro. It's crazy. Uh, and that's a real eyes, by the way. But anyway, um, the the cast is amazing. I love this movie so much that I actually even saw the table read that they did years later on virtual, like via Zoom and stuff like that. Even Chris Evans joined, May Whitman joined. They read the entire movie over mm. again. And that was amazing. Um, mm. I think Edgar Wright did a brilliant job. Uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff you actually see like a power when they're fighting <laughs> um you actually no i mean his fight with the indian dude in the club that was really yeah. cool as well yes no for me that changed the movie because before that it was just about him dating this underage girl and having this gay best friend and like we're just getting used to his world his ex is, is part of the band and then jiggy jiggy here comes this guy uh, hey, that, like, did, didn't she didn't she go on a on, on a villain arc that that girlfriend that he had or whatever? Who Ramona? Yes. Yes, no, no, the, the, the ex girlfriend. Oh, ex-girl. nice charm. Oh Dude, yeah, both, knives. Both both of his girlfriends actually did have like a villain arc of sorts because uh, she joined. What's this kind of game on this girl? Yeah, Ramona no, joined. Ramon, Ramona yes, joined. That Gideon. was one of the running jokes that knives is only six is still in high school. That was yeah. one of the running jokes. Oh yes. Oh, but like, I think I think the way they get around it is that like he is just not feeling it at all. Like he's kind of treating her like a little sister, and she's like throwing herself at him. Is that, right. is she, that was, yes. she was treating him like a group? Like she she behaved like a group. Let me put it like that. Like yeah. Like basically, she band. she like I think the thing is like because you know that would age very poorly. But I think the way Edgar got around it is, or the writers, because I know Edgar directed. But I guess the way they got around it is that. He didn't see himself in a relationship with her. She saw him. She saw herself in a relationship with him. Yeah. Type Fun deal. fact: there's uh, actually two. Can... There's actually two endings of this movie. There's an ending where <clears throat> he actually ends up with knives at the end, and I, then I there's, they... there's yeah. the version that we know where he ends up with. I'm sure that movie. didn't test well. Yeah, I'm sure that was the Mr. Beast ending. Um... <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, Bonnie? you know the whole. One of Mr. Beast's uh, people just got in trouble right now for some inappropriate talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and I'm saying was... that ending would be the Mr. Beast ending. And yeah, people oh, are saying okay, he knew. Don't put that on Mr. Beast because that was <laughs> wild. Yeah, that was People say he knew. People are saying that in the group chats where the things were happening, Mr. Yeah. Beast was a moderator in the group. Uh, so we, we, we don't you. know. Let's, let's <laughs> allegedly, because now, now we get sued, and I don't have Mr. Beast money lawyers. <laughs> Yeah, hey, no, no, no. Can... Allegedly, allegedly. Everything Rob said, allegedly. We don't yeah, he's know. Gonna take back the wells, guys. <laughs> We're <laughs> South Africans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need anyway, the wells. Um, I am an African. Anyway. Yeah, I said it doesn't. I don't think it deserves to be on here. Yes. Uh, Buckmeister said it shouldn't be 94. Maybe it should be like 90, 100 and something. Yeah. And then, oh, maybe uh, even a hundred. It's it's a good movie, but like, this is kind of high. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. All right. But, so.